CTV News with Michelle Dubay and Colin DeMello. And also happening outside Queens Park today. A large protest formed on the front lawn of the legislature over a proposed change to regulating trades. You're not going to attack our apprenticeship programs. You're not going to attack and deregulate the trades for interest. Hundreds of people gathered to express their criticism over a piece of legislation included in Bill 70. Trade workers argue it would weaken their qualification certificates by allowing cheap laborers to do skilled jobs. They argue it threatens jobs and the public. And that therefore puts the public in danger, it puts workers in danger, it uh, is not, there's no protection built in for consumers, and we see that as a road going downhill. Protesters say they want the government to at least remove the section impacting trades from the bill so that there can be debate and discussion. The excitement at Queen's Park wasn't limited to action inside the legislature. A large protest formed outside over a proposed change to regulating trades. You're not going to attack our apprenticeship programs. You're not going to attack and deregulate the trades. Trades workers gathered in frustration over a piece of legislation they argue would cost jobs and threaten safety by allowing cheap laborers to do skilled jobs. They're asking the government to at least remove that section from a larger bill so, they so there can be a, quote, proper debate. We're protesting because uh, the bill that the Liberal Party is trying to pass basically will make my apprenticeship useless because anybody will be able to do my trade. Hundreds of tradespeople gathering at Queen's Park today upset with a section of Omnibus Bill 70. They say a provision in the budget bill weakens the Ontario College of Trades who they want in charge of rule enforcement, adding it opens the door to uncertified laborers taking the work of electricians, plumbers and pipe fitters. 